It's the 100 year anniversary of Odax. And we choose today to participate in that by riding the 200 kilometer Subic to Masinlok route. I'm by myself, but I'm going to be on the, on the road. I'll surely see other cyclists. So I'll be alone, but I don't think I'll be lonely. Anyway, let's have fun. Starting here, heading out to Masidlok and coming back. The sun's out. And that means the farmers have come out to spread their um, what is pala in English? Uh, the grains, the rice grains, to spread it on the street so it can be dried by the sun. Awesome view. That's why I come out to ride. And that side too, look! Love it! Love it! Here they are! Already spreading them. They put down the sacks. And the farmers come out and, and they have these things that look like rakes, but they're flat and they keep just spreading them out all over this whole lane will be taken up by the rice grain. in the town of San Narciso. We are 42.6 um, kilometers in. I'll do a quick, uh, just a rest, just a planned rest, and maybe a bite to eat. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful sight to see, but this was caused by the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 is cited as the second largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century. Satellite images showed an umbrella shaped eruption cloud of about 400 kilometers in diameter, with an ash plume reaching more than 40 kilometers high. Intense hot ash flows sterilized land over hundreds of kilometers away, filling valleys with high temperature deposits of ash and pumice as much as 200 meters deep. 
extremely fine volcanic dust from Pinatubo's eruption circled the globe in about three weeks and reduced solar radiation reaching Earth's surface. This stratospheric haze caused a mild cooling of the planet Earth's climate from 1992 to 1993. Okay, we are uh, 83 kilometers in. We're going through the town of Iba, Zambales now. Sun's starting to get higher. Where's that light drizzle I thought I saw in the forecast? Yes, yes, I missed the turn. So, good thing I loaded that into my, the route into my head unit. I was so busy following that truck, I missed the turn. So, uh, my head unit is telling me to head back and turn left. There we go. So with no one to help me, since I'm attempting this on my own, I'm trying to manage my effort. I'm looking at my speed, my heart rate, and the watts that I'm putting out, keeping it easy. So I can keep going, leave some in the pack for the way home while enjoying all of this. Morning. <laughs> Love this. I decided to do this course today because there was a forecast drizzle midday, which should keep it cool. But the farmers are out drying their rice grain. I guess they know better than the internet. Son of a gun. An AC energy company. Solar power farm. Awesome. Go for the machine lock course, they said. It's really just a flat course, they said. It's not flat. I've got a bit more to go. And that's not flat. I'm really not wholeheartedly enjoying this downhill
Selamat. West. In that direction. In that direction. 124 nautical miles in that direction is the Scarborough Shoal. The Scarborough Shoal is located 124 nautical miles or 230 kilometers west of Zambales. It is also known as El Bajo de Masinloc because it is part of the municipality of Masinloc. The Scarborough Shoal is a small ring of reefs that is rich with marine life that fishermen from the Philippines, China, and Vietnam have tapped for generations. However, it is currently a subject of territorial dispute. In 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague unanimously ruled in favor of the Philippines versus China's claims. But until now, the Philippines accuses China of dangerous challenges by Chinese Coast Guard on Philippine vessels and fishermen near the Scarborough Shoal. We're heading back now. I've done and uh, had a bowl of rice porridge or lugao. That's good enough to get me back. Over 110 kilometers to get back to the house. Let's go. Oh, now I guess they're done and they're sweeping it back into the sacks. I guess until the next day? I'm not sure. But good for them. Good for the, for the cyclists and the motorists. Because now the road is clear again. Parang gano katagal nyo binibilad yan? Huh? Bung umaga. Tapos bukas bilad ulit sa umaga lang. Ah, oh, galing ah. Tapos binabalik nyo sa sako. Galing. Okay, ingat. So he said He said that they um they dried in the sun for the morning. And they sweep it up midday, put them back in sacks. And then tomorrow, they'll be out to dry the rice grain again. Remember why I said I couldn't wholeheartedly enjoy that fast descent earlier? Well, this is why. Because now we have to climb. We climb on the way back. It's all good. Awesome view. Awesome. I remember that, the Carabao Monument, on our way home now. It's the governor's office. The governor of Zambales. That is, um, that's 100 miles. What I've learned so far on the solo ride is eat frequently. Um, I think uh, 
Small meal is best. Drink a lot. Find a way to entertain yourself. And uh, with your water bottles can only help. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? flats and they're wearing you down they wear you down I'm leaving Kabangan now oh beware beware the flats of Kabangan they will chip away at you oh boy beware Decided to have a snack with a view. Why not? Let's have a snack. Cheers. believe this I dropped my camera it fell out of my pocket into that hole and it's over there down there oh dear Son of a gun. Okay. From all the way up there. Okay. I guess it could be called drop tested. <laughs> that was crazy. Look, under the bridge. That high. It fell through one of the uh, drain holes. Unbelievable. Okay, I gotta get back up. I hope Greta is still there. What a freak accident. Hello, Kyle. Okay, Greta's still there. Definitely a first. We got the camera back. What an adventure. Now, gotta get back on the road. My Garmin's freaking out saying you're off course. Hell yeah. Good afternoon, Pa. It's a bit hilly getting back. We have uh, about six kilometers to go. And then we're back at Mango Valley to finish the course. But there's no such thing as a free lunch. 
still gonna do some, some climbing. We're beyond 200 kilometers. That's because we went beyond the turnaround point and we started before the start point. So uh, we added a bit. But well, what's a few kilometers between friends, I guess? Entering Subic Bay again. So this solo long distance thing. The Beatles are right. That you could get by with a little help from your friends. But it makes me appreciate um, the ones who do it solo. It's such a, uh, a different ride. I will say that it's kind of interesting because it's like taking a long drive without the radio on and your mind just wanders and it decompresses which is also a good thing so will I do it again? I'm not sure uh, but I'm kind of old enough to know that I should never say never but cheers to the Audax for setting up challenges like this. And if you enjoyed the ride, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Okay, cheers.